Hi guys, it's Crafty K Bug, and today I have some loom bands, neon gel, metallic, and shimmer rubber bands to try out today. So I'll be reviewing each one individually and seeing how they work. So let's get started. Alright, so first up I have the neon gel, and as you can see I forgot to mention this, these were on sale for 99 cents at Hobby Lobby. So I'm not sure if that was just my local one or if they're on sale on all the different ones. So I had to pick up some packs to review. So here's the one I got. This is the neon gel in this purple color. I have some jelly purple that Rainbow Loom makes. And I absolutely love the Rainbow Loom ones. So we'll see if these are as good. So these bands, they come with 500 rubber bands and 25 clasps. Which is a lot of class for only 500 bands. These are latex free. And there's the back. They have some warnings and things. And they look pretty interesting. So let's get them open. I'm just going to take that off. And so here are the bands. Let me just pull some out. There's a little bit of sticking going on. Um, they seem to be really thin. Kind of frail. So hopefully they don't perform that way. We pull out the clips. These are S clips, by the way. So here's the pack of 25 S clips. And here are the bands. So they kind of look a bit pinkish in the camera. They look maybe a little bit pinkish, but not as pinkish as they're showing up. Let me get a nice zoom in look at these. So you can kind of see them. Let me bring back in a rainbow and jelly purple so maybe we can see the color difference. So there you go. And that is pretty accurate as it's showing up on camera. So these look all right, um, we kind of do like a, a finger stretch test. So they're probably stretchier than rainbow and jelly. Let me feel rainbow and jelly. Yeah, they're definitely stretchier than rainbow and jelly. As you can see, they're about as stretchy as normal bands, actually, which is nice. I don't think they're too weak. So those are those. I'm going to get back to these later and make some bracelets and things. I'll tell you how they all perform after I've looked at all of them. So on to our next band. So my next set of bands are these metallic ones. And I found these in the same place, of course. For 99 cents. These only contain 400 bands but still have 25 clasps. So we get quite a few of S clips here. If you're trying to save up S clips, this might be a good way to go. So these have a couple of different colors, so we'll open them up and see what we see. Alright, so I've got the package opened up, I'll pull them out. I'm not sure if you'll be able to see the color difference here, but there's actually a purple, a blue, and a red. When I first looked at these, I thought it was just blue and red, but there's actually three colors here. And they look very nice. Let me get a closer look just to my eye. And they actually are pretty metallic. They actually have kind of a jelly tint to them. But if you look at them, they're actually metallic. How cool. And these bands don't have much of joints either. There, there's some tiny ones there. There's one there. I'm not sure if you can really see it. Let me feel them. Again, stretchy. Ooh, these have good resistance. I like it. I like the resistance here. These feel good quality. And all of the ones I'm trying out today are latex free, which is nice because I don't think the tie dye ones in this brand were latex free. I think they had some latex. So these are really nice. I really like them. I'm going to get you a close up view really quickly. So you can see them. And they seem to be really nice. So I'm liking these. So, like I said, let me pull out the clips real quick so you can see those. These look like maybe a little bit less than the ones before. Yeah, 
these do look like a little bit less. Did I just get one that was manufactured differently? Let me pull these out. Let me pull these out and count them for you. So we'll see if there's really 25, because it claimed 25. But this really does not look like 25 to me. Maybe I'm just blind, but... Alright, let's see. Hey, that's got a defective pack. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. There's only fifteen here. And they're claimed to be twenty-five. How crazy. So I'm gonna have to see if this was just a typo or if I got a pack with just not very many S clips. I might have to check this pack and see if there's twenty-five. So I'm gonna do that, come back, and we'll be ready to do our next bands. So I'll be back. So I counted, and in the other bag there were 23. So I'm really confused. But um, I did the math of for 400 bands, that's only 16 brace, single chain bracelets you can make with 25 bands. So, and there's 15 class, so that would make a little bit more sense. But they still didn't give you what they said that give you. I guess we can check this one and see. These bands here are called the Shimmer Bands. And these are normally $3. I didn't say that either. But they're normally $3. Which is still an okay deal. But I would use your 40% coupon. And these have a big bag of clips. And these have 500 bands. What's this? Oh, one fell out. Are they linked from the back? Must be. Huh. Anyway. Here's the green. Alright, so let's get these open. Alrighty. There are quite a few different colors in this one, so I'm excited to see. Alright, so there's just a few. That's all we really need right now. And then let me pull out the clasps. Let's see if there's 25. I'm going to count the class first. They came in a different bag. How queer. Look at these. See how these have these like little rich things? I know it doesn't really show up. See how they have those little rich things? This is like a rainbow loom style. S-clip bag. This is so weird. They must have some serious manufacturing difficulties. How do you get these open? Okay, these do have a little flap. I think. Yeah, they do. Alright. Dump those out. So we have three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty one, two, three, four, five. 25. So there we go. We have 25 pans in that 25 S clips in that one. So that's a bit interesting. So, yeah. Don't know what to really say about these. Alright. So these bands feel like they've had something rubbed on them to make them not stick because they're not even close to sticky. Let me smell them. an interesting smell. It's not like alcohol like those Minion Bands had, but interesting. So let's see the colors we have here. We have a pink color. We have an orange color. This yellow gold color, which is really nice. I don't have any gold bands. I've been wanting some. So We have this green color. This blue color. And this purple color. So those are the colors that we have. And they're all very pretty. And let me see if they have sparkles or are they. These are kind of just metallic, really. <laughs> I mean, that's basically all they are. I mean, they're kind of. I can see where they get the name shimmer. Kind of shimmery. They're not like glitter, like, glittery or anything. But they're really pretty. So I really like these. And let me see the stretchiness. Again, good resistance, good stretch. Let me check the purple ones because I didn't really check those for resistance. Let me see. 
these are the purple neon gel that I just launched across the room. Not really across the room, but off my filming table. Okay, let's feel resistance. These don't have near as much resistance. I mean, they have a little bit, I guess. I guess they have. They have a little bit. Let me see. Oh, did I just stretch it differently? No? I think these have more resistance. Like this kind. So, yeah. That's my experience so far. I'm going to make some bracelets and see how they look in the bracelets. That's the main thing I want to see with these. And then how they perform. Wait a minute. Okay. Not what I thought it was. I thought I saw some broken bands, but they're not broken. So, yeah. I'm going to make lots of bracelets and things. And I'll be back. So, first up are the neon gel bands. And as you can see, I have them in purple. There are also many other colors. And I made a single chain and a double single. And this was my fault. It just came undone. So, the pros of these bands are the effect is pretty cool. And they're really shiny. And now the cons would be they're really flimsy, really slippery, hard to hook. And, um, they're just not really great quality, in my opinion. Um, if you can get these for 99 cents, I think that's still a pretty good deal, considering what you're getting. But if they were the normal $3, just go with the Rainbow Loom, because they're about the same price if not less for more bands and better quality bands so that's what I would recommend just stick with rain bloom on the jelly for the most part but these are still alright if you maybe can't get rain bloom or aren't comfortable with rain bloom these are a good alternative short term alternative I didn't clip this one because I'm gonna undo it and fix that mess right there so yeah, as you can see, I used rainbow and black on here. I made all these bracelets on the rainbow one. As you can see, I still have plenty left because there are 500 in here. So I probably used 50 or so bands. A little less. So yeah, these are the purple neon gel bands. On to the next band. So I just got finished using the metallic bands. And these are the two bracelets I made. I made a circus rope and a fishtail. And I really like the metallic effect especially on that fish tail and they turned out really cool I used some rainbow and white on the circus rope in case you don't know the circus rope is my own original design and I made it up and I have a tour on it on my channel so you can definitely search my channel it's called the circus rope and so yeah and this is how many bands I left so I had a pretty good amount probably about 275 here they felt really nice when working with them they weren't too flimsy I like it I mean, they're not as good as Rainbow Loom, which that was expected, but they're still pretty decent, so I really liked these. I did not like how thin they were, and I did not like the color combination too terribly much. I wish that they would have had some lighter colors in here to give it a little bit more contrast, but of course you can just use some lighter colors with them to give them a bit of contrast. But I really love the effect. And if you can definitely, if you can find these for 99 cents, I would definitely pick them up. I'm not sure if they'd be worth three dollars though, but um, it just kind of depends on your budget. And so yeah, and you can always use a 40% off coupon to help you out with the price. So these are really neat. Really like them for the most part. And so on to our next bands. Last, but definitely not least, I have these Shimmer Bands. These bands are so cool. They are like pearl finished looking, and they are the coolest bands. I made the zippy chain and this um, inverted fishtail, and they both were very easy to do. The only thing was they're a bit oily. Like, they have some sort of oil on them to keep them from sticking. I can tell because they don't stick at all. And they have that oil. So they're kind of slippery, which makes them hard to loop at times. But other than that, they are great. Great resistance. These are probably my favorites. I want to get you a close-up look at the pinks. Because you can see everything on the pinks the best, I think. 
So let me just get those into focus and then zoom all the way in here. So you can kind of see there how these bands shimmer. I think it's more of a pearly finish and they're very oily. Or the oil may actually be what makes them have the shine, I'm not sure. I don't think if you rub the oil off, it would be gone. But these are really great bands. I'm going to dump a few out there just so you can see some more colors. Really nice bands. These are probably definitely my favorite. And if you can find these, even for $3, get them. Because they are really great bands. So... That is those. So, yeah, that's pretty much it for my Loom Bands review. So, those are all the bands. And now I'll just kind of give you an overview of everything we've looked at today. So, here are the, all the bands we've looked at today. And we looked at the Shimmer, the Neon Gel, and the Metallic. For me, this one was the best and this one was the worst, and this one was in the middle. Um, if you do get like one of these with 400 bands that claims as 25 class, please tell me how many actually came with it so I know if I just got a defective pack or if it really just doesn't come with 25 clips. So, yeah, if you go to Hobby Lobby or somewhere that sells these, make sure to pick up a pack of the Shimmer. And if you like the metallic, those too. Because I really love the look at this fishtail. That is so cool. So, yeah, that's basically all the bands for today. Make sure you comment, like, and subscribe here on YouTube. And also, follow me on Instagram. My Instagram is crafty underscore kbug. And so you can insert your name after crafty. Thanks so much for watching. And... Before you go, whoa, 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 did you buy any of these? If you do, take a picture and tag me in a photo because I'd like to see what you get these and what you make with these. So if you make any bracelets with any of these types of bands, please tag me in a photo. Also, if you make any other bracelet I've made a tutorial on, please post it on Instagram, tag me in a photo. I would love to see it. Again, my Instagram is crafty underscore kbuck. And... Thanks so much for watching once again, and I'll see you next time on to the verse of the video.